Yeah, buddy. What's up guys, this is Cerebro and today we're in for a treat because we're going to play StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War. Well, mostly it's just StarCraft for today. Patch 1.18 of StarCraft has been released, meaning they just gave away StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War for free, the original ones at least. I think this is part of their promotion for the upcoming StarCraft Remastered, which is going to be available in the summer. So for those RTS fanatics, you guys need to watch out for that because, yeah, you know, Brood War, but we all know that the esports boom started with StarCraft in Korea. So all of the success of the esports games right now, they all it all on StarCraft. Uh, that's there's no doubt about that. But anyway, we're not going to play multiplayer because I am not that good. We're just going to play some single player missions and uh, hopefully I'm not going to butcher this one for you. So let's start with single player and Starcraft the original and we're going to pick a name. Of course, we're going to pick Cerebro and then okay. And we're going to start with episode 1. And this is the tutorial. I guess we're going to go to the tutorial. Okay. And this is the start. I've played this game before, but that was like around 15 to 20 years ago when Brood War was still in its infancy and uh, a lot of game. I mean, I was not a competitive StarCraft player, just casual. So, just a small hint for you guys, I'm not that good. So, if you're just forgive me if I'm not really that good in this game, okay? But anyway, we're starting to gather minerals, gather, 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 probably save, uh, uh, create six SCVs for minerals that I think is the most stable one, and just going to pump some more SCVs. Hopefully this is going to be enough, and there are no more units that uh, we, we can attack. Oh, there's like a lot of them there. The refined way process is raw vespine gas, converting it into a form which your SCVs can gather. Okay, vespine gas it is. Um, I think one is enough. I think we cleared all of the... Zergling area. It's not part of the mission, but it kind of feels good to kill some Zerglings, you know, so they can get warmed up for the real missions later. Oh, there's like a lot of Zerglings there. Oh, one of my units died. Oh, or two of them, I think. So that is bad. Well, not really that bad because we're just finishing up the mission. Those Marines, hats off to you guys. You did the dirty work. And we're almost done with the supply depot, and I think this is going to be the mission. This and there goes the victory! Yay! I like her voice. Is she human? I mean, is she not a robot or something? If she isn't, I'd probably, I'd totally ask her out. She has like the shiniest forehead ever. Okay, hello, Edmund Duke. Quarantine. Now I know there won't be any problems with these new arrangements. Mm, I don't know. I've contacted the local marshal, James Rayner. Rayner has Ooh, Rayner. To Rayner's a good range assassin in Heroes of the Storm, which is what I play mostly these days. And he isn't that good recently, but. He's still a stable ranged assassin. But anyway, we're going here, we're playing StarCraft right now, and uh, I guess what we need to do is gather minerals. And there's Rainer in a vulture. Hello, James Rainer, Marshal of these parts. We need just one more. And then a supply depot, and a barracks, and we should be good to go. I wonder if they're going to attack. Uh, these Zerglings are really uh, savage beasts. Actually, the Zerg is my favorite uh, race when I play multiplayer uh, in StarCraft. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't really that... Um, what they call that? 
that pro uh, in StarCraft, I just play casually, so do not expect like super duper plays. The good thing about this is uh, when even when the unit um, the unit building is still in construction, you can already set a relay point, and that will be saved in the future. When you started creating uh, units like the Marines or the Firebats, I don't think there's a medic in Brood War. I mean, in the original StarCraft. So I believe they're introduced in Brood War. So we need to create some Marines. I believe that's just the mission, right? Just to build more Marines and stuff. Oh, one more. There you go. Actually, that was it. And there goes the second mission. Hey, what's up, man? Ooh, it's Rainer. Rainer doesn't look so good. It's a good place to plant some mines. So we have four. So we need two more. Oh, that's enough. So the next ones will be Marines. And a supply depot. Well, let's just create a supply depot so we can just like proceed to pumping Marines. We have enough uh, SCVs and we're just going to pump more Marines and help uh, whoever uh, needs help. Oh, oh, there's a Zerg. More Marines. Oh, there's some more units right there. Oh, okay, so you need to right click on the actual. And we're going to attack. I hate the splash damage of those fire bats. I think they also hit our teammates, so. Okay, I guess those, that's enough. And just we're just going to pump marines. And uh, we're going to rush here. Where's the path? I'm not really sure where to go. Oh, okay, there's there's the way. One more? Yeah. Oh, Rainer's going to die. I need to heal uh, Raynor because he might die. If he dies, the mission is over. So I think this is the last of the forces. So this is almost mission accomplished now. Oh yeah, it's the command center. Yeah, this is this is the end of the mission. Oh, look at the gun salute. Ooh, look at that command center. Huh. Tashing. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshall, and that's the mission. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. Ooh, Rainer's in trouble. You're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet Rainer with a sassy mouth. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> Yay! Huh. For a twenty over twenty year old game. The cinematics here are pretty sweet. I mean, they're pretty low res, but they're still fine. I mean, I wouldn't mind watching this cinematic right here because it's good. Why we always gotta listen to this for anyway? Oh, the potty mouth. Oh, it's a deer! 
Oh, okay. It's it's, it's, a, it's a huge cockroach. Or a zergling. Oh my god, they, like they, they killed a deer. Some poor feathers, dog, Sarge. It's a zergling, Lester. Smaller type of zerg. Uh, he can be out this far unless... Oh, s***. Oh boy. Hydralisk behind. Oh my god, there's like four of them. I love you, Sarge. I love you, Sarge. And... They're dead. Poor random people. Oh, survive for 30 minutes? I guess this is the last mission for today. And after we survive, we're going to end part one of this episode. Good day, Magistrate. Oh, it's Arcturix Manx. Manx and I represent the sons of Corhall. Of course I'm going to save them. I'm a good guy here. And we're going to start the mission. There you go. And we're going to put people there. And then we're going to put people there. So we have. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess we need one more. Or probably like a seven. Seven is a good number. And then we're going to start building supply depots. Not enough minerals. And then a refinery. What are you on? Dude is angry. He has like anger issues. I mean I'm the boss of this game. Why are you trying to be snobbish? Okay. I guess this is time to create a refinery and uh, probably build another supply depots. Not enough minerals. Yeah, it's fine. And we're probably going to build uh, an engineering bay. Sorry if I, I'm pausing, I'm kind of like concentrating because this is like a survival mission. Sorry about that. This is becoming really, really tense. They're trying to attack earlier. I'm not sure if they'd be able to, but I kind of need to have some defenses ready. So, some more supply depots around this area. I believe they call it the wall defense. This doesn't have anything to do with Trump or something. This is just what they call it. They're building a wall. <laughs> no, not that kind of wall though. Well, I guess it is. I think I placed it wrong. Because uh, it's really really far from the bunker. And I'm probably going to have a problem with that. Oh, we have enough units. I think I need like a couple more. Like two units. All right on cue. Oh, let's try roaming. So like eight minutes in and I'm able to survive. Oh, there's nothing here. I wonder if there's something here. Oh, wait. why did I press that? Oh. Base is under whoa, whoa, the base, the base, the base, the base. I'll uh, we'll probably need another barracks. Let's just keep them there. And uh, create an engineering. Oh, we have an engineering bay. Okay. I'll probably build another barracks then. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I know. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Go, go, go. This can be pretty tense. Attack it. Oh, we got a few hits in. That was stupid of me. Gotta help them. I think what we can do is... I believe there's a combat station. Yeah, there you go. And we can upgrade their weapons. Or armor first. Yeah, okay. Armor sounds good. Oh, I lost like... Four marines there. Sucks. And we need to defend first. Kinda lost a few good men there. 
I guess we need to look. Uh, there's nothing here, so. I guess we can group this as uh, 0 and 9 so that we don't have to like go back uh, all the time. Let's kill this sunken colony. We've got three men. Yeah, their their sunken colonies are the only ones that are giving me problems. Oh, there you go. They have like a lot of units. It's going to be tough. Let's see if we can take a chunk of their um, economy. I think I'm I'm invading their main base, so th I guess that's the problem. And there goes my my units. I guess we should put them here. Oh, these armors are coming in pretty handy. And yeah, they've become more. Um, sturdy. Oh, we gotta kill those mutilisks. Yeah, those mutilisks are a pain for marines because they have like a splash attack. And Marines have really small health, so it's going to be trouble for them. And now we are kind of like a more stable economy. We're gonna kill this. Um, then So far we're going, we're doing fine. We're not only defending well, we're also able to uh, decrease their unit count. And I think they're going to attack. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're going to need some help here. Oh, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Gonna keep attacking here. I think we're going to. We have enough for a second group. Yeah, there you go. So we can. We have like enough for a second group. So let's try attacking here. Oh, the second squad. Oh, look at them wreak havoc. Yeah, buddy. These Zerg never stand a chance. Oh, you gotta kill these sunken colonies. Okay. Ooh, one of, one of my units died. Base is under attack. That's yeah, fine. You can destroy that uh, spire. Your forces are under attack. So they wouldn't be able to produce. Oh! Oh my gosh! Not my SCVs! Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Stay there, stay there. Come on. We need you to stay there and uh, let's get the area. Okay. Fine to attack. That's fine. Two units is nothing.
and um, seven wins eight, we're doing really great. Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. Come on, kill that. There you go. And that's for the greater good. So, yeah, some of you will die. But the important thing is we'll win. Which I think is going to happen. And five minutes in and... Um, Looks like they don't have like any more units. Oh, do they have a base here? I think they have. Oh, there's nothing here, so let's see if there's something there. We'll use the scanner. Oh, no, not not much anymore, so. There are like a lot of marines that die, like one or two marines that die to um, sunken colonies on average, but. That's for the greater good. We'll never forget their contributions. Well, actually we will like in like 10 minutes or something. I think, yeah, this is mostly it. Uh, we're going to win. Since they don't have any units anymore, I don't think. Yeah, there's no more units, so... They're just like roaming around and stuff. Oh, there's... And I guess this is it. Not only did we survive, we eliminated all of the Zerg in the area, so I guess that's good, right? All we need to do is just wait for the two minutes. Oh, I don't think we need to even uh, create more units, but just in case. And we're down to one minute left. Um, let's create a comsat right here. There's nothing there. What about here? One minute until dropship arrival. Okay. Tell them they can like wait for like a few minutes more if they want or a few hours more. Uh, there's nothing to worry about now. Yeah, we completely removed the Zerg from the area. I guess it's time to go home and wait for the dropship. And there's like 20 seconds left. Oh, there's 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 a little bit more right here. There you go. Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. Oh, we get to kill more overlords. And there you go. So all in all, we have like three missions, I think, Ex uh, not including the tutorial that we've managed to uh, to pass, and uh, that's good. And I guess that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, just click on that like button. Hammer it down. Hammer the like button. And um, if you want more videos like this. And also my kids are playing other games. So just click on that subscribe button. So you'll be up updated. Notification squad has got your back, bro. So yeah. Like, subscribe, comment if you want. Uh, share it with your friends, of course. And I'll be back for uh, for episode 2 of some more StarCraft missions. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye.